Hello everyone and welcome to Gurung's classes. Uh, today in class 10 EVS, we will be discussing about solid waste. Okay. Now, what is a waste? First, the question comes, what is a waste? Now, actually, waste is nothing, but what we can say is waste is a matter in a wrong place. Matter in a wrong place. Okay. For example, now see, yesterday's newspaper that you have, okay, so you read the newspaper and then you kept the newspaper, now the next day again a new, new newspaper comes, okay, at your house and then you read that newspaper and yesterday's newspaper, you no longer need that newspaper to read in fact, okay, so you pile up those, you know, uh, uh, red newspapers, okay, and then when the rack picker comes, okay, then what you do is you give him, you sell him. Why? Because that newspaper is a waste for you. Yes or no? But that newspaper for a recycling plant is a resource. So that means uh, the same thing which is a waste for you can be can be a you know raw material for another person. So that is why what is waste? Waste actually is a matter in a wrong place. Till now we had you know, uh, uh, thinking that waste means something which is discarded, which is no longer in use. It has no any use, no value. Yes, sir. so that is why you are a waste. Isn't it what we say? But no, you know, uh, matter in a wrong place. Even in your uh, case also, what we see is sometimes we see students not being able to score good in mathematics or good in chemistry or good in physical, you know, good in uh, science or even in English also or good in any other subject okay so we say you, you are dumb you you can do nothing you are a waste okay but uh, who knows that student can be very good in uh, dancing or in singing yes or no or in uh, music or in uh, making drawings paintings art who knows he might excel in doing something else he might become become a very good politician also who knows <laughs> isn't it so that means okay that student might be uh, you know, uh, finding difficulties in grooming himself or herself in the school. But when the same student, uh, you know, gets a place where he can groom himself, for example, in the music or even in boxing sports also. Okay. So they might excel. So that's matter in a wrong place it is waste. It is the new definition of waste. Like kitchen waste is also that we have. You know, we peel potato, we throw the waste. That is a waste. We don't eat them. Yes or no? Do we eat? No. But when we compost it, when we, uh, you know, when we make it a compost, when we throw it in a, uh, you know, bin, and then again, when it degrades afterwards, afterwards it becomes is a compost. Yes, so it can become a fertilizer. Isn't it? So that means anything that is discarded but can be used in another means, okay, is the best example of, you know, waste that is, which is a matter in a wrong place. Now let us discuss about solid waste solid waste whatever waste which are not liquid in a uh, uh, state which can be handled okay by hand and then uh, you know which are solid for example paper waste is solid okay metal waste is solid plastic wastes are solid e wastes are solid kitchen wastes are all solid yes or no industries factories wastes are all solid fine now these solid uh, solid wastes okay they are thrown okay now the thing comes how are they thrown is normally what we do is solid waste even at home also if we talk about you know uh, you know from home so what we do is we have is two bins okay now we have is a biodegradable bin and we have is non biodegradable bin in the kitchen we have is biodegradable and non biodegradable bin so whatever um, um, you know vegetable peels are there we throw in the biodegradable waste waste bin and then uh, suppose uh, you ate YY and then the YY packet is thrown in non-biodegradable bin. Okay. You have his tetra pack. Tetra pack goes in the bin. You have his plastic bottles goes in that bin. So both are solid waste only. But one is biodegradable. Another is non-biodegradable. So one is collection. Solid wastes are to be collected first. And after that they are to be. Suppose if uh, they are to be separated. Okay. Or they if uh, it would be very best if in the process of collection only if it is separately collected then that is the best method even in hospitals so hospitals also we have is biomedical wastes are also there 
biodegradable, non-biodegradable and biomedical wastes are also there whereby gauze, syringes, blood stain, cottons, okay and all those medical you know needles syringes are put there so they are uh, because they don't uh, degrade also they are not biodegradable also okay we cannot throw them uh, in uh, um, you know um, what do you call is anywhere in the in, in the bins also so they are to be uh, disposed of properly okay so they actually actually are to be burned properly in an incinerator fine so that is why solid wastes for first they are separated and then they are collected fine after that they are you know a collect after collecting they are dumped in certain places okay one is open dumping which normally uh, we normally see like if we here also i'm talking about kershiong uh, okay then in kershiong also what we have is the municipality we throw all the bins or all the wastes in a dustbin from the dustbin the municipality workers they collect all the wastes and then you know with the help of a vehicle they throw in a uh, place away from kershiong town so that is open dumping open dumping uh, you know kershiong being a very small place so open dumping uh, is not that hazardous because the population is also very uh, less compared to big town big cities okay and metropolitan cities but when we talk about open dumping you know uh, open dumping has various drawbacks like in a uh, silgari okay when we talk about silgari okay then there is a very big uh, you know uh, uh, land where open dumping is done whereby all the wastes of uh, uh, silgari municipality uh, municipal corporation is dumped in that place and so open dumping is that you can see is you know heaps piles mountain of you know wastes are there okay and then you can see birds animals rodents okay dogs fine they all are hovering they all are wandering in that place and then just imagine okay those animals again they might enter uh, the family places they might enter the human residence and they can spread diseases the uh, the leachate might uh, or then or when it rains okay uh, you know the uh, the waste gets degraded and then the leachate leachate means you know the liquid portion okay the well filtered not filtered in fact the mixing of the waste with the water okay you know the it goes down in the soil and then mixes with the groundwater and the same groundwater is pumped up and then we drink that water we take bath we wash our clothes we wash our utensils so we might have waterborne diseases so open you know uh, dumping of waste okay so is done see one thing is it is mainly because of population because when wastes are dumped when wastes are thrown away if enough time could be given then it could replenish itself it could become a part of the nature okay i'm talking about biodegradable waste but we have so huge population we don't have enough land okay we don't have enough you know and then the rate of uh, the rate of generation of waste is too high okay if you talk about uh, an individual worldwide also in an average an individual produces near about 250 grams to 1 kg of wastes per day okay and 60 to 70 percent of wastes is vegetables okay or you know metals are very less okay plastics yes plastic also is very nowadays and not only plastics e-wastes are also there yesterday's mobile you bought a new mobile and then yesterday's mobile suppose it is not working you throw it you throw your laptop you throw your electronic watch you throw your smart watch you throw your uh, um, you know electronic gadgets tvs refrigerator etc so these all are they all are becoming a part of e-wastes okay so the amount of generation of solid waste is huge now in solid waste there are two types of waste one is biodegradable another is non-biodegradable biodegradable means which can degrade okay which can be broken down broken down so how the, uh, the uh, uh, how these biodegradable waste are broken down one is with the help of microorganisms see microorganisms are the organisms which help in you know the suppose solid waste i'm talking about banana peel okay suppose banana peel it takes near about two weeks to totally degrade you throw the banana peel automatically after two weeks you will see nothing of that banana peel it becomes you know so a part of the soil why because of the microorganisms what do we have in the microorganisms we have is bacteria okay we have is bacteria okay and then we have is uh, uh, you know like um, we have is uh, earthworms also 
Yes or no? Other detritivores wars are also there. We have his bugs are also there. We have his insects. Fine. So if you talk about bacteria, again bacteria is of two types. One, they are aerobic bacteria. And another is anaerobic bacteria. So when we throw the waste, the waste is eaten by bacteria especially. Okay. So some uh, a group of bacteria, they use oxygen to eat the waste and convert the waste into humus. Okay. So that is known as aerobic bacteria. Fine. Some of the bacteria are there who do not need oxygen to eat the food. Okay. They without the help of oxygen, they can digest the food. They are known as anaerobic bacteria fine now earthworms are also very important yes or no they make the soil porous they eat the soil they digest the soil fine and then they are, that is why they are known as a friend of the farmers now bugs are detritivores bores are also there okay so suppose bugs are there a fallen leaf is there a fallen leaf is broken down into small bits of leaves okay because they are eaten by bugs they are eaten by detritivores. bores insects are there fine so biodegradable wastes are those wastes which can be degraded over a period of time with the help of microorganisms, with the help of detritivores. So, you know, uh, the waste from the kitchen especially is a biodegradable waste. Paper also is a biodegradable waste. A foreign leaf from a, you know, a, a tree also is a biodegradable waste. The, um, the trees, leaves, vegetables, etc., they all are biodegradable waste, means which can be degraded, okay, with the help of microorganisms, okay, with the help of bacteria fine biodegradable waste so that is why even in uh, at home also you know we should have two beans one for biodegradable another for non biodegradable because when we talk about non biodegradable waste these are the waste which do not degrade very easily and takes long time okay you know a plastic a single you know a small polythene carrier you know it takes in about 100 years minimum you know to uh, to degrade a butt of a cigarette, you know, a butt of a cigarette also takes near about 30 to 40 years, you know, to degrade, you know, so that means it's not that easily degraded, okay, and we have is piles and piles, heaps and heaps of, you know, tons and tons of non-biodegradable waste, which we have produced, but where to, uh, where to throw, okay, wherever we throw, it does not degrade well, so that is why we dump them in, you know, landfills or we dump them uh, so not in landfill, we dump them openly, okay? Now, non-biodegradable wastes are there. For example, you know, uh, metal wastes are also there, okay? Plastic wastes are there, okay? Or, uh, for example, you know, uh, hospital wastes are there, or uh, which do not degrade uh, very easily, okay? So, that means these non-biodegradable uh, rubbers are also there. They do not degrade very easily. They take time, long time they take very long time to degrade long time means you know thousands of years also it might they might take fine for example plastics are there metals are there okay e-wastes are there non-biodegradable okay even in this non-biodegradable waste these microorganisms they cannot work though okay science is trying its best okay but then also till now it is very uh, difficult to you know manage the non-biodegradable waste so that is why what are we moving towards is you know recyclable plastics are there okay degradable carry bags are there yes or, no? or jute bags are there fine now normally how is solid waste managed traditionally what we see is they are managed through dumping let us write dumping So what is done is normally, you know, the, okay, so what is this, this is a dumping truck, fine, and dumping all its waste, where? okay in a dumping site yes or no this is a truck dumping all its waste in dumping site so from the dumping site what happens is that this is an open dumping this is an open dumping so various gases 
can be produced here and we have is you know fine birds also will be there and rodents also will be found here yes or no fine these all are rodents fine okay dogs cats animals and we have is rack pickers also here in this open dumping places whereby okay they search for plastics polythenes okay recyclable things materials etc uh, as a result of which they also can become a victim of you know uh, there's uh, uh, diseases okay skin diseases or respiratory diseases or internal organ diseases who knows okay so it's quite risky so when we talk about dumping okay in dumping also this is open dumping this is what open dumping now compared to the open dumping a new system has been evolved that is known as sanitary landfill let us sanitary landfill now sanitary landfill means filling the land okay with solid waste okay but in a well managed way a properly managed way so what happens is that when we talk about uh, sanitary landfill find what is done is a pit is dug a pit is dug okay and wastes are dumped there fine yeah So, all the wastes are dumped here, okay, in a pit. But what this pit contains is initially there is a lining of clay, okay. First, there is a lining of clay. So, that means first a pit is dug and then here, okay, the inside of this pit is, okay, lined by clay. And then they even what they do is okay other materials also in uh, you know more advanced sanitary landfill other you know inner fiber materials are also placed fine and then they put is they lay down these pipes I'll explain you the function of these pipes okay and then these pipes they contain hole. fine and then these pipes they again are connected to you know fine now what is this is because when the solid wastes are inserted here fine so what is done is waste covers A layer of waste is put okay and then again a layer of soil is put a layer of soil is put fine again a layer of soil is uh, uh, waste is put fine so it's not that the whole place is totally covered at one go only with waste okay so it is done in layers in different layers fine again covering with soil is done again covering with soil is done and this is done continuously fine so here also covering of soil is there fine and what is done along with that only this is a landfill okay now what happens is that in this landfill uh, when it rains it's an open area when it rains and sometimes okay this is sunlight also because of sun and water the water percolates deep down in this sanitary landfill and then there is a liquid type of thing produced a slurry type which is known as leachate okay l e a c h a t e leachate is produced Fine, they start becoming liquid and leachate is produced, which is collected in this red pipe. Okay, which is collected in this pipe, and then one is it is pumped out. It is pumped out 
नंबर वन एंड नंबर टू द सेम लीचे टू सर्टन एक्सटेंट इज अगेन अलाउड टू ड्रॉप डाउन फ्रॉम दिस अप गोइंग पाइप सो दैट इट रिसर्क्यूलेट एंड हेल्प इन डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ दिस सॉलिड वेस्ट ओके इन साइड दिस लैंड फिल्ड नंबर टू Why are these okay leachate pipes laid in inside the sanitary landfill? Because if they would not be there, then the leachate okay would leach inside the soil, and it could hamper or it could mix with the underground water. Suppose this is the underground water table. Yes or no? Fine. Then it would. leach in the underground water and then it could mix with the underground water and what do we have here is we have is a hand pump okay and this hand pump when pulls up the water then the water is coming out so this is the hand pump okay water comes out but along with the water what comes out is the the leachate which is mixed okay so that is why to prevent the leaching of this leachate in the underground water table okay the clay and other fibers are fabricated okay are insulated and then it is pumped out fine number 1 number 2 it is recirculated in the landfill so that it helps in faster degradation number 3 is in this sanitary landfill various gases are also produced because of the sun and the water when it mixes then there is a reaction in the sanitary landfill and various gases are produced okay because of that the air near the sanitary landfill is very toxic is what is toxic so that is why to prevent this these uh, gases from escaping out in the atmosphere what is done is pipes are laid in hmm okay and these pipes they trap the various gases of the uh, of the sanitary landfill and okay what is also done is these gases are used to produce electricity also or they are used as a source of energy also these gases normally contain methane okay and they go and they burn and then the uh, run the turbine and then electricity is also produced so sanitary landfill can be useful in this way and then the top portion of the sanitary landfill can be used for recreation for parks for playgrounds etc so this way also the solid waste okay can be managed properly which is known as sanitary landfill landfill okay now next is we have is incinerators fine incinerators now another way is in c n rators now see incinerators means it is a uh, you know a uh, technology it's a, a a big place where the solid wastes are burned at a very high temperature the temperature can rise up to 1000 degrees celsius celsius okay so that means at this high temperature all the wastes are burned fine normally what happens is that suppose uh, this is the truck okay and the truck they dump all the waste fine so the truck dumps all the waste okay and the crane picks the waste and then it puts in and the waste is put in a chamber where it is burned the waste is burned okay fine so uh, you know the waste is collected and it is put in a furnace where the waste is burned okay so here the temperature could be very high near about 1000 degrees celsius okay and then what happens is that the vapor that uh, the gas that comes out of this chamber is very high in temperature because it burns at a very high temperature so that heat when goes out this heat when goes out then it passes through a chamber okay and this chamber contains pipes which contains water fine so when the heat passes through these chambers the pipes these pipes which contains water the water gets evaporated 
and this water helps and goes rotates the turbine and electricity is generated what is generated electricity is generated okay and then these gases okay this gases this heat containing this gases which is very hot okay high in temperature you know it can pass through an electrostatic precipitator also here we can have is one more thing electrostatic precipitator electrostatic precipitator mean means it's a place where you know uh, the gases okay and materials okay the suspended particulate matters are trapped okay in various uh, plates which are positively or we, which are positively charged okay first they are first this gas is negatively charged with the electricity when it passes through this chamber all the materials become negatively charged particles they move on to uh, the plates and then they uh, they drop down and then afterwards they are collected okay and they are thrown out and these thrown out parts are also used in various purposes for making roads or for making you know uh, houses and all so that means ultimately the gas which goes out from here is a very clean gas is a very clean gas going out in the atmosphere okay and which does not cause any pollution so incinerators are uh, you know uh, are places where the wastes are burned in a very high temperature okay and such incinerators incinerators in a small scale also are uh, there in the market which you can uh, you know own in your house also are in in hospitals also where biodegradable wastes are burned okay so incinerators are very very useful okay which helps in managing the solid waste in the best possible ways along with that it is helpful in producing electricity also here also landfills can also be used in you know uh, managing the solid waste and producing electricity so dear students kindly go through this okay so thank you thank you very much